for this project, I'm actually doing a wash on the retrocarded thing. I've already done a little bit of pre, uh, pre-work on the retrocarded thing. Of course, you see it's all taken apart. But also, besides taking it apart, I stripped off all the bright orange highlights. I've done a tutorial on how to remove uh, table graphs and paint on figures before. Well, with this one, I actually used the Winsor Newton brush cleaner. I took a paintbrush and dipped it in this, then brushed all the, the highlighted areas, let that soak for a few moments, then take a clean Q-tip, really scrub it in a clean paper towel, then rubbed it off, and I got all those highlights off the ugly, uh, blotchy highlights they put on from the factory. Took those off and did really well. And so we're going to focus on applying the black wash on this video. The black wash is one of the things that can bring out a lot of the good details. I was basically wanting to go go with the, uh, make it look, these things look like the Walgreens thing. This is what I did before. I worked on this one during a live stream. And uh, it's turned out great. It's got the, stripped all the highlights off, applied to wash, and we'll go through that process now. The, the wash I'm using is Tester's Acrylic Wood Stain uh, Black Wash. It used to be called Tester's Creative FX Acrylic Wash. You can get this in various different colors. They recently changed the name to Acrylic Wood Stains, which was, it's the same stuff it always was, the Create FX. The local Michaels up here actually clearanced out a bunch of this stuff and I stocked up. The regular price on it was $6.79 a bottle, and they cleared some up to $2. I bought every color they had, and I think I bought all the black they had. Because this stuff is great about bringing detail on the figure. And you don't have to just do the blacks. So like I said, they got the greens, they got the mahogany. I use this on Shocker. You got the red barn, which is almost like a reddish pink. You got the teak wash. And yellow washes and there's another one it's a light wash and here we go the brass wood wash these are all great to have for different projects and you can mix the colors for what color wash you need too if you have a separate container and add some different colors too like when i was working on the king sphinx i took the green wash mixed it with a little bit of light blue so make a teal wash now onto the thing as you see, I've already taken him apart pretty much, except for the legs. I left those alone. I, there's no really no need to take those apart. There was no, I didn't have to strip any paint off these. And two, these, the one I noticed on the thing when I was working on this one, these legs are constructed differently from regular Marvel Legends. Most of them have a peg in the hips that go down to the into the thigh piece. So the way around on these, there's a peg in the thigh piece that goes around the hip piece and it's glued around. So there's no easy way to take these apart. So I just leave them as it's not necessary for this kind of work here to take this apart. I've already done the torso, the upper torso. There's another step after this. We'll go through with that. Let's go ahead and start applying the wash on the parts. You're gonna need a clean paper towel. Let's do the heads first. And for this kind of wash too, I just coat all the everything with the black wash. Smaller brush around the eyes. You can actually use this black wash too for panel lining with a fine brush. You can just let it just soak into the crack crevices of fill in the lines.
And then we got the part coated. We're going to start wiping off the excess. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Nice coating in the lines. And with the sculpting on him, he's really easy about just knocking off the excess and the wash staying in the crevices of the sculpted rock texture. Okay, do the next head. It took a moment to heat it some water up. I want to see if I could separate the eyes from the and the mouth from the outer part of the head. And you can, it's glued in there, but full of some hot water and you can yank that sucker out. It'll make it a lot easier to touch up to do the wash and not worry about getting on the eyes and the mouth. A little clean up around the areas. You got a little heavy with the glue and got, got near the eyes. You can see it's in there. So I touched a very disturbing looking, weird looking insert with the eyes and tongue. So I touched up the paint on that. I'm going to take a Q tip, wipe off the excess on this piece. And while I was heating the water up, I went and did the ab section the, for the Ben Grimm figures. This is a rubber overlay. And there's a keyed piece too, so you don't have to worry about mixing it, not remembering front and back. So once this dries and we get this ready, I can just hit this with a blow dryer, pop it right back on. Let's go in the adding some wash to the wrist parts. Let's go ahead and do this head since we got it apart. I can be super sloppy now and don't have to worry about not hitting the eyes. If we get inside the the mouth cavity a little better too than on the other one. I'm not going to take the other one apart since I've already done it and I got pretty well covered anyway. But it is not too difficult to take that apart. Uh, heat up some water in the microwave for three minutes. Dropped it in there for, for about a minute or so. Till it got soft and pliable. Was able to free up the glue and pull the head apart. Oh yeah, it makes it a lot easier. You don't have to worry about getting in on the eyes. We don't need the fine detail one now. No. The rest of the parts are all big parts, so we don't need to worry about getting in tight. Oh. Pretty straightforward. Brush on a heavy coat of wash, wipe off all the excess. Repeat. For a job like this, there's only a few areas you need to be careful with, like with the, the hemline with the between the thigh and the shorts. You can actually do some masking and if you're not real sure on your steady hand, if you got steady hand or not to keep from hitting the blue. And you don't have to be in a super hurry to wipe it off. 
You don't want to sit too long, too. If I apply a wash to a figure of paint, it a lot of times I end up doing too. After the wash dries really well, I'll dry brush the base color back over top of it to bring out the highlights of the original color. So with Ben Grimm here, we don't have to do that. We're going to do something else. Okay, up down the hands. Don't worry about getting, you can wear some gloves, but don't worry, the acrylics are water soluble. They're pretty easy to scrub off if you get them on your hands. All right, those look good. Well, let's blow through the rest of these parts and we'll get to the next step. Okay, we got the majority parts black washed, and we're going to work on to the legs now. And basically what we was doing before, just being careful to stay on the orange and not hit the blue. That was a good thing about the sculpt on these shorts, there's a nice seam line where your brush can stop, stop against. I'm just going to do one leg at a time, too, to keep from making a mess. Flex the knee a little bit so I can get in, get in there and get the wash in through the knee joints. Because these actually have sculpted texture on the knees. We want to get the wash in those. And you could, could take it apart. But I'm not worrying about that right now. Okay, we are good to start wiping off the excess on this leg. We got full coverage. And to keep from getting on the blue, what I'm going to do is make straps, strokes downward with my paper towel and try to keep clean section of the towel always hitting the blue. Okay, we're good to Go to wipe off the wrist. You can be aggressive when you're wiping off the excess too. With the way this is sculpted, you don't have to worry about too much not have enough wash in the crevices. Into the Peg holes with get the key tips back out. Don't want those too dark. Ok, 
Okay, we have good coverage on this one. I got no one working on these things. I don't know if I noticed it before. Underneath the shorts on the back, you can actually see the sculpt of the rocky texture on his butt. <laughs> that was pretty cool. They actually put that detail in there, but the rest of the cloth, uh, even on the full pants ones, they don't do that. Even on the pants legs here, she's got the same parts there. All right, let's get the wash done on this side. Let's get the start at the upper hip. Alrighty, we have all the parts washed and ready for the next step. Next step really needs to be done and uh, the wash dries really well. So we're going to knock some of it off. So we're going to knock off enough off the original base color just to basically show up as like highlights. So as, um, like I mentioned on uh, one of the paint it, I'll just dry brush from the color over top of since we're not painting the thing we want the base plastic to be the highlights so i'm going to dip q-tip in a little bit of super clean and wipe off some of the excess Let your eye be the judge how much you want to take off, how much you want the original color to show through. And yeah, there we go. Some nice bright orange coming through. Until you seal the wash, it's easy to remove. You should be able to use about any kind of cleaner to take this, but I found that super clean works really well. I have a big jug of it. Yeah, that looks so good. The, the washes will actually like tint your plastics. This is where we're basically kind of removing some of that tint to bring out the highlights of the natural color of the plastic. Even if you wipe it off, it's still going to leave a layer, thin layer on top of that plastic. We're going to do this for all the parts we just put the wash on.
Okay, we got all the parts black washed, wiped off the excess, took the super clean and exposed more of the original plastic color. That way looks like it gives a little more depth to the wash. So you got highs and lows, highlights, shadows, more. All thing left to do now is reassemble. I'll do that. We'll take a look and see how he looks. And here we have the thing all back together. Got a nice wash throughout the the figure looks really good, brings out all the detail, matches the Walgreens thing. Now I've got three things that look like they belong together. Anyway, thank you for taking time to watch the video. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll catch y'all next time.